Tired of that old boring shit soup that you've been eating? Try a new style of soup. My soup. Drink a Corona, make some soup. It's been cooking for hours. You want to learn how to make that soup and not that crappy soup you've been eating? Tune in. We're going to throw the chicken in. Leave that chicky onions in there. An onion. This is what we're going to put in the stock. We're going to do onion in the stock. We're going to do garlic. You just cutting the garlic up? No, I shouldn't throw it in the bowl, actually. It's just a stock. It'll just dissolve. I don't know why there's uh, eyes on these garlics, but. Well, you can't really see it anyway. We're gonna be eating that. Ew. We're gonna do like. I'm gonna do this whole thing. We're gonna do a Spanish style soup bass. Like a Spanish soup. Peel. Or you can go get some already peeled. Make life a little easier. Peel it. I don't know why these have eyes on them. But we're gonna go for it today. Right, I think that's enough shot of the garlic peeling. <laughs> now we're doing the whole damn thing. Well, if you're part of the show, you gotta watch the garlic. Yeah. What's okay, that? I'll cut back when you throw them in. Alright. So the sazon's in. The little mix. We do some coriana powder. Pop that off. Put a little bit of coriander in there. Touch of coriander. I'm going to do a half of a nor chicken cube. You can use whatever type you want. Nor is superior. It's a good flavor right there. You can always add more later. Put that in. I'm going to put that in the water. And that water is cold. When that comes to a boil, we'll figure we'll give it, check it after a half hour. Most likely, I'm going to let the sucker go for like 45 minutes, like a 50 pound, uh, <laughs> 55 pound chicken, <laughs> 5 pound chicken, young chicken. So, we'll, let's start that off cold. Put everything in. We'll save this for later. We'll probably use that again. And what we're going to do is throw it in. A half a line for now. Save that one for later. Probably end up using the whole lime in here. Need a new knife. A knife is out of business, my friend. Anyone got some man you sending for me? A lime juice. Oh yes, my friend. Squeeze it. Squeeze it, the lime here, my friends. Take a trick up. Juice the line. Lime juice straight away. I'm gonna give it a little bit of charula jalapeno. Just a little bit. Just a little bit in there. I just like the flavor of that, baby. I'm add a little touch of some tomato puree. It's just gonna give us some nice color. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of some tomato puree, my Now, once this comes to a boil, set a timer for half an hour. The stock still cold. Gonna let it heat up. Come to a boil. Cover it. 
let it go half an hour, 45 minutes, somewhere in that range. And now we're flavoring our water right from the beginning. So we're gonna add more onions, we're gonna need carrots, celery. We're gonna sweat those off first and then add them. And we'll show you that process next. Let's let this heat up, come to a boil, and we'll be back. Yeah. Do the celery first. I'm just gonna cut this end off. Beautiful. I'm gonna cut that little end off. I don't mind the greens. That's gonna go in our soup. What we're gonna do, slice these down the middle. You can chop all that up. Give you nice slices. Show it over there for now. Now with the big pieces, come down the middle, or else you'll get that shape. You can keep that shape if you want, or cut it down the middle and get a flat piece, whatever you want to do. Some people would chop all that white off the end, making make a soup, I'm trying to be healthier, so I'm not eating it. I do not mind for eating it, my friends. I like to eat the white part. What? slices of celery so when you start cooking well it's probably easier to go from this way so whichever way you want These small pieces, I'm just gonna chop off. That'll be a piece. I'm gonna cut them in half. Or attempt to cut them in half. <laughs> Beautiful knife we have. I wanna do nice bite sized pieces. Everything is gonna shrink. Don't be afraid to go a little thicker than you normally would. You don't wanna old grandma soup. Chop them like that. We can chew our carrots, we got teeth. All of them will be soft. Pieces. Now, let me demonstrate. If you cut them like this, you just get ugly circles of carrots. No one wants that. Small piece, chop off. Cut them right down the middle. And now you're do the same thing with the celery. So you have the same size, same shape. That piece will chop off, that piece will chop off, come sideways. Get some bite size. We don't have too many carrots. We have some baby carrots in the fridge. We'll actually be throwing in here. Alright, so that's it on the carrots. Baby carrots from the fridge. I don't do the onions. So I put one onion in already. And that's just a four year stock. We're going to be adding more onion. Cut that right down. You want some nice sized pieces. This will also just cook down and turn to basically nothing. Probably going to go one, two, and then one right down the middle. Same thing with this one. One, two, and one right down the middle. And then as it cooks, they look pretty big now, but you'll see later. They'll shrink. You diced onion up, you're not gonna feel it, you're not gonna taste it. Well, you'll taste it, but I like me a nice chunk of onion in my soup. I'll let this go. Start to boil a little bit over that heat. So it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna set this sucker for a half an hour. We'll check that chicken on us out. I did one the other day for a half hour. This one most likely only for 45 minutes. Do the other onion. Chop the ends off. Cut it in half. Peel it. Go with, I like to just peel that first layer off. I'll get paid by the hour here. Chop that off. 
These are a little smaller. Let's at least cut those, cut this right down the middle. That's it. Then you get these nice pieces of onion in your soup. So that's two onions. One small, one medium. The other one was probably pretty small on the smaller side too. So now we got carrots, onions, and celery in here. It's a pretty decent sized bowl. So that's gonna end up going in here when we take that chicken out with a little more room after we peel the meat off of the carcass. And then what we will do, like I said, let this cook for half an hour. We're gonna cover this bad boy. Probably gonna let that heat a little bit. Let that boil down. And that's where you're getting your flavor from. Beautiful. Accionas. Half hour went by. Let's take a peek at it. So we did the whole chicken. We're gonna cook it until it's almost fall off the bone. You can do it the other, but she doesn't like chicken on the bone. So I'm cooking the whole chicken. The whole chicionas. Look at that garlic onion and the little uh, cooch. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> So look at that stock now. So we got that beautiful broth. And this chicken is gonna go for at least, starting to pull back on the bones a little bit. I'm gonna get this a little, little bit more. I'm gonna let that go a little bit more. And like I said, you could do it this way. You could always brown the chicken first if you're gonna do the chicken on the bone. I'm gonna do it more traditional say American style soup. We're gonna boil the whole chicken. Start from cold water, onions, all your spices. Put one onion in, garlic, uh, chicken base, sazon, garlic, onion powder, black pepper, and some limes. And this is about probably 40 minutes in. So let's let this go down. Maybe another 15 minutes. Maybe I'll give another. Maybe I'll give another 20 minutes at least. We'll see. I mean, right now it's pretty much definitely cooked. I'm just gonna get a little bit more. Try to get a little bit more flavor out of the chicken while it's in the water. And then what we'll do is we'll take it out, put it to the side, let it cool off, shred the meat off the bone, and then that'll be back in. And then while we're waiting for that to cool off. Start sweating our vegetables. That'll be the next piece we show you. Ah, delicious. So, we're about 50 minutes in. So, we checked it after a half an hour. We might have got a little bit longer. I did the last 15 minutes uncovered. So, we we'll probably reduced that water down maybe, eh, maybe a half of an inch, let's just say. So, we're gonna pull this chicken out, put it to the side. Let that cool down. Not for too long. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Let it get cold if you want to pull it. Depending on, you can wear gloves if you want. That will make it a little bit easier. Or you just let it cool down. Maybe half an hour. Let that drain off. Let's cutting boards end up getting filled with juice. So now we got basically about a half a pot of stock now. Pizza. I get a pizza. pizza. You want to get some pizza? pizza. I'm wasting my picture. time. I'll take picture. I thought you were saying get pizza. So I don't disagree with you, Rory. Put this little lovely bird over to the side. Put it right on his front here. Cook down nicely. We're gonna let him cool down. You can almost pull a bone right off him. Chicken tastes good. Got that almost that yellow color. Now we're gonna check out the stock. Look at the stock now. So every, remember everything we put in there before. All cooked down to nothing. That's it. Those translucent onions. Look what we got. It's almost actually a little less than a half a pot of stock at this point. Your other hand, please. So we got onions cooked down. Now what I'm gonna do because it's a little hot today. I don't feel like running a bunch of burners. I'm gonna throw this back here and let that do its thing. 
Two things. Well, me, it's always this thing. You can do whatever you want. You can throw the vegetables in there and just cook it. And then you're gonna get all that water from the vegetables and weaken your stock. And it's not gonna be as flavorful. If we do it this way, we're gonna sweat all that water out, get a little color on the vegetables, we're gonna get a little piece of butter. Put a butter, piece of butter in there. Carrot, onion, and celery. Everything nice like chunks. Let that butter melt down for a second. You don't want to go too hot with this, we're not so tiny, I'm just sweating them. So you don't want to go in a big pan. You want to let everything sweat. Try not to spill it like that. Now we got a full pot of vegetables. That little mix or I love that heat a little bit. Now with these, I'm gonna probably cook these down nice and low heat for about most likely it's gonna be about a half an hour. This is probably gonna reduce in size about maybe 50%. We're going to sweat them, let all that water get out of them, then you're going to add all the juices and the vegetables and make almost a vegetable stock. And you intensify all the flavors of onions, the celery, and the carrots. Pass by. You already see how much they reduced. It's just a low heat. Come over here. I don't know if you can see that. And what I'll do is I'll strain them just to show you the almost vegetable stock we get. So now we're getting rid of all that water out of these vegetables. Just gonna intensify everything. So we'll let that go while this is going. We got that chicken cooling down, which is almost ready to handle soon. And what we'll do while we're waiting is you can just start skimming some of this now that it's you know 10 15 minutes went by got a little colder over here and what we'll do <laughs> we'll skim some of this look at that fat right off the top so once it gets a little cold you, you can just pull it right out and i was doing this before even when the chicken was cooking so it's not too much in here see so yeah, it comes almost like a layer Beautiful. Take a little bit of that out. And we'll let that go. And we'll keep pulling a little bit of this out. And then, let that cool still. And you can just pull that out after cooking. And we'll go back in here. Get a little bit of that chicken fat in there. And make this nice and delicious. Beautiful. So we'll give this, let's say, another 10 minutes. But now look how much we reduced in size already. So all of that liquid that came out of these vegetables, essentially you would have been putting in that stock, which we already reduced about an inch with the chicken in. Now the chicken's out, it's probably down about two inches. You could always cook this for another hour if you want to intensify the flavor of that. This chicken is almost perfect. Perfectly cooked chicken. Tastes delicious. We'll pull that apart in a minute. We'll let this sweat down for another eh, 10 minutes. And we'll be back. 
just about five minutes. My buy. Still going. I'm gonna let that cook a little longer, but what we're gonna do in here, we're gonna pull off the skin. We're gonna start breaking down the chicken. It's still hot, but let it rest for another 10 minutes if you want to do. Try to get as much of that skin off of here as possible. You don't want no skin in the soup. Yeah, this is still see how hot this section is. You could always turn it to cool down a little faster, but try to get as much of that skin off. Still steaming hot. Break that whole breast off like that. Steam it out. Cut this other piece. We'll let that cool down. Another 10 minutes, maybe. While we're sweating the vegetables off. Got some onions. Fresh onions. <laughs> Wet down. And this is, to me, probably the most important part if you want to get the soup. Now look at that vegetable size. Down about 50%. You can let these go another 2 minutes if you really want to. I just wanted to show you something. All this vegetable stock you're gonna get out of here. That's all the vegetable stock. Now ah, a little tiny piece of butter. That's not what that is. That's vegetable stock. Look at that. So all that flavor is in the soup. And now you cook down half of it. So now you're taking 50% of the water out. The vegetables are going in. Drop of that, and obviously, beautiful. That's all those beautiful juices from the vegetables. Good. So, we're peeling the chicken. I like to do, you know, bigger pieces. It's gonna break down, don't forget, just like everything else. So, don't go too small. We're gonna just peel all this right off the carcass breasts and the most important thing is to make sure you flip that sucker over there's a bunch of meat on the back we're gonna pull the legs apart we're gonna pull the wings apart make sure you're not getting any bone good move that up more the one that's right here you're too close Dolish is uh, absolutely beautiful. We'll do a little leg here for you. Demonstrate the drama. We got bone pulled right out. Look at that meat. Beautiful. We're gonna pull that off. Don't wanna be eating that. And take your time. And while we're doing that, we got our beautiful, almost thickened. I ain't add anything to it. Reduced vegetables. Reduced stock. Beautiful. I haven't tasted this yet. I don't think I need to. The whole house smells delicious. I'm ready to eat the walls. This is just vegetables and stock. A lot more to come. Now this is going on almost two hours already. No, no, probably about an hour and a half. So we'll finish breaking that chicken down. Throw this in here. Throw some cilantro, some more lime, we'll adjust the spices, and we'll throw in some cabbage at the end and some potatoes. We'll be back. Go. So we got this lightly boiling. We're done peeling our chicken. We got a good amount. We ate some along the way. I'd say there's a good, probably maybe two pounds there. Chicken's gonna go in. do is we're gonna let that do its thing. We got some cilantro here. I'm gonna chop that up. Do a little cilantro on there and it'll go too fine. It's gonna cook down anyway. Take your cilantro, pop in some cilantro, and we got some fresh parsley. Pop some fresh parsley in. Gotta wait for the rest of it to finish growing. Fresh parsley, cilantro, and we're gonna go with another piece of lime here. Squeeze that lime in there. 
smells so good. It smells delicious. Crank that heat up a tiny bit and mix that in. Now we're gonna let that go maybe 15 minutes. And I didn't even adjust any spices yet. They just taste, just, just that little half a cube tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of flavor from the chicken. So we're gonna let this cook down a little bit longer, adjust some spices, make some rice, and we're gonna be eating pretty good. All right. So we'll let this go for another 10 minutes. Give that a little mix. Check it out, it's looking good. I got big bulky vegetables in there, everything looks delicious. That's gonna cook maybe another half hour. And what we'll do, we're gonna throw in some cabbage. And this same same deal. Let's not chop it up all small. I'm gonna go, that's a half a cabbage, I'm gonna do five threes. This piece of will go a little more this way. And same thing with this. Try to go threes. And I guess you go fours. This big piece will go right in half. Cabbage. Throw the cabbage in. Looks like a lot. I like cabbage. I like the vegetables in there. I like the whites. I like the roots. We eat it all around here. Throw that in. Get a little closer to that. Cabbage is in. So now after all those vegetables, now we're starting off about where we're with the water. So everything was just cooking down, breaking down. And then we got some potatoes. We're gonna throw in the little tiny ones. So we'll wait for maybe the last 15 minutes and we'll throw them in. All right, cover that up. Come check on it in 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So it's been 15, 20 minutes. See what we got. Cabbage is broken down. Seems like a lot of cabbage. I don't mind it. We're making soup, we better go in. Look at that. So this is all cooking down still. Again, need at least another 15 minutes, maybe 20, which is perfect timing. I got my rice going. We're gonna do two cups of rice. I got basmati rice today. You can use whatever rice you want. You can do noodles, egg noodles, ramen. So I tasted it now. It tastes delicious. We want to try to do a little Spanishy style today. I mean, for me, I believe it, but we're gonna add a little adobe. Try to bring those flavors out. And you could always add more lime, more cilantro. And you're always gonna put that in your bowl at the end. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of paprika. What I'm gonna do, just because I want a little bit more, and we're gonna leave it on the color for now. We're gonna hit it with a little more garlic powder. Don't go too crazy, you could always add more garlic powder and get a little heavier. Just a little bit of that. And a little, a little more onion. Onion powder. The stock we're going to leave out just because that chicken just gave us some great flavor. Amazing flavor. I used half a cube and it tastes really good. The vegetable stock tastes delicious. We're going to let this cook down for another 15, 20. We're going to throw our potatoes in in a minute. And we'll see what we look like. All right, so we got five, four minutes to go for the rice. I'm gonna take a peek at this. Put that over here. Take a good close look at that. Everything is broken down, so we ended up adjusting it just a little bit. Put some salt in there, some more pepper in there. We threw in these potatoes. Um, what else? We got paprika. We did a little more adobe. I did a little more of that jalapeno hot sauce that I like, the Cholula. This is pretty much good. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat on that. And in the meantime, I made a little topping for the soup. Here we got some jalapenos. I did some red pepper. Work with what you got. We did some white onion. We did vinegar, sugar, salt, black pepper, lime juice, garlic, cloves, fresh garlic, and uh, cilantro in there. So you mix that up maybe half an hour ago, and I added a little tomato paste to it. Give it a little bit of good color. And you could do whatever you want. You could do pico de gallo, you could do a red onion, whatever you want. Got the rice going, another couple minutes. We got basmati rice today. 
use whatever type of rice you want, do noodles, ramen, whatever you want. Graphing out. Got rice already fluffed, fluffed with a fork. We got basmati rice, my preferable rice. Short grain, whatever rice you want. I'm gonna go rice. I like noodles with mine. Sherry likes rice. I'm definitely not making noodles for myself, so I like rice. Go some rice. Beautiful rice. Cooked to perfection. Now we're gonna go in. Onion. Onionas. I'll go with this on there. Chicken. Scoop that on there. Get some of that broth in there. Woo! Woo! Chicken soup. Got that bowled up. Take some of this delicious stuff we made here. I'm gonna go right there. Guaba! Guaba! Beautiful, my friend. Get a little more of that juicy. I'm gonna go cilantro. <laughs> We're gonna go with some fresh lime juice. Uno más, come on up. Already. Looks delicious. And for all you, and for all you foodies out there, we're gonna go right in there, baby. It's probably hot and shit. Mmm. Mama Charula. <laughs> Good. Oh yeah. It smells so good. Alright. Mmm. Mm. 